So I've had the Luna display running from my Mac Studio M1, enabling me to use my iMac 27 inch from 2012, I think it is, as a secondary display. Now that has been an absolute boon for me. It's made the productivity um, really worth doing it. And I've always used two screens, but I was wondering what I would do once I changed up from my iMac to a Mac Studio or indeed of course this would work for you if you had a Mac Mini uh, M1 or M2 it's a perfect situation where you can then use your iMac screen as a secondary screen you can also use it if you wire it up properly as a uh, primary screen if you really wanted to I find that the there is hardly any latency I found that the new peer-to-peer -peer options with uh, the 5.3 update from Lunar Display, that can be a little bit slow, uh, not brilliant if you're trying to run videos and that kind of thing on the iMac screen. Of course, when you've got a dedicated main screen, that's no problems. So essentially what you'd be doing is using the iMac screen for uh, panels and secondary things you know, really is a secondary monitor. Of course, it also gives you the benefit of using a hard drive on the iMac for additional storage. So you can use it as a networked storage drive, which again makes keeping your iMac uh, well worth doing. And, you know, in the world of not throwing things away and uh, true recycling, recycling it and using it yourself. So let me just go through very quickly and show you the current setup that I have. And I've been using this now for probably two months, I think. And uh, I'm really, really pleased with the Lunar Display purchase that I had. I'll go through it with you one more time. So essentially, the uh, the run is that I have this setup. This screen in front of me is my main screen. This here is my iMac 27 inch. It's a 2K screen. So uh, not a 5K screen, but that doesn't matter. If you had a 5K screen, you could run it just as well and, and have a main screen as a, two, uh, as a 5K screen as well. So most of the current M1, M2 Macs are fully capable of running that. And indeed, some of the MacBook Pros are capable of running that as well. What you'd actually need to use in this situation is you need to have the little lunar display dongle it's supplied by a company called astropad i'll put the link in the description so you can easily find it that plugs into one of your thunderbolt ports so a usb c thunderbolt or a usb c with display port functionality it won't work with a standard usb c port so it won't work if you have not got a Thunderbolt port but of course all of the M1 and M2 Max have Thunderbolt ports so uh, you don't really need to worry about that. Let's show you the screens that I have. So the two screens that we're running I've got the Lunar Display here and what I've got on the screen is the new 5.3 um, interface that comes up when you launch the Lunar Display app here. And what it does is it now comes up with some connection options. And it says here, preferred wireless connection, peer-to-peer -peer or Wi-Fi. Now, that's the wireless connection if you're going to use wireless. Now, I, I actually recommend that you don't use wireless. I recommend that you use Ethernet. Now, what do I mean by that is that you have a, an Ethernet cable to, to your router from your main M1 or M2 Mac and an Ethernet cable from your iMac to the router. That creates the wired connection between the two. And as it says here, a wired connection is preferred when available. That means that you're going to have the least amount of lag. You can choose, however, if you're not able to wire your, your Mac, you can choose to use Wi-Fi or peer-to-peer. -peer. And you can click on either one. And if your Ethernet connection is not available, then the Lunar Display will use whichever one of those that you have selected. Peer-to-peer, -peer, theoretically, is a faster connection and can potentially mean that you don't have to have a Wi-Fi network. What it does is it essentially forms a, a network on your main M1 or M2 Mac and allows the 
in this case, that an iMac to connect to that. I think it's highly unlikely that you're going to be in that situation when an iMac is more or less a desktop device and the peer-to-peer -peer style would work if you were using your lunar display with an iPad, for instance. However, just to show you, um, you can just drag the uh, any any window or any interface from one screen to the other. So here I'll use a numbers um, window that I can just easily click on there and edit it very, very happily. I think with video editing, perhaps you won't be so enamored with the lunar display, but I think you could use it, especially in the uh, Ethernet wired connection mode. Maybe it wouldn't be so good if you were using peer-to-peer -peer or the, the Wi-Fi uh, connection again just showing you the uh, the dual screen version that is that and if I show you here this is how that would work and if I just move it from one screen to the other you can see quite happily uh, it is a very fast solution for being able to do that kind of thing and uh, opening and closing um, windows is really really very good and very easy to do I can move this window across here and you see it's you know pretty damn good on there and very much the same on the main screen so that is your astropad from and lunar display settings um, as I say there has been a new version of it uh, they made an update to the secondary app as well which enables you to choose whether you want to be able to run a retina display or not as well in the main little window. For me, the AstroPad and uh, Lunar Display has been a real boon. And if you want to get hold of one, the link is in the description below in the comments. Get hold of one if you've got an iMac that you don't want to throw away and you're buying a new M1 Mac uh, or an M2 Mac, of course, with a Thunderbolt port. And that can include the Mac Mini, the Mac Studio, or even the new M1 MacBook Pros. Uh, if you're able to run an external display, you plug this little device into the Thunderbolt port and then you will be able to beam your screen to another Mac, for instance, or indeed your iPad if you really want to do that. I'm not showing you the iPad option. I'm really much more interested in, in recycling these old iMacs that are perfectly good. This is more than 10 years old now, running perfectly well. If you've got a 5K screen, um, then even more, just go for it because that's uh, what a waste to throw one of those away. Um, and it would save you buying a brand new 5K screen uh, when you can just use your old iMac screen and carry on using the hard drive that's built into the iMac as well. So, so many advantages with using AstroPad. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more Mac productivity videos or videos relating to the Lunar Display, make sure you ask any questions in the comments. And I look forward to helping you again in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.